Hi guys, and welcome to the Drum Troop Walkthrough, a glorified rompler to some, an amazing time saver and creative release that's fast for others. Either way, Drum Troop's a wicked new tool. We're going to walk through it here and show you how to set up the 16 channels, or outputs rather. Let's go to Create for a software instrument. I'm in Logic here. We're going to jump right into it and just load an instance of Drum Troop and make sure you choose the multiple output. Otherwise, only the first pad will work. Once it is loaded, the first thing I'll do is actually lay a quick pattern here for you guys so that we can then showcase how to separate the sounds into their own outputs. Uh, right now, everything is going through one. So if I add an effect right now, it's going to apply to everything. And what I want to show you guys how to do is break everything apart into their own outputs. So first things first, I'm just going to go up to 140. Let's actually make it even faster. Let's go to 150, make a little trappy, dubstepy type beat. And this is just using the default kit that pops up first. I have all the expansions preloaded here out of the first seven that we have available. And we have a good special going on right now to get all seven of them at once. It's like two, just over two gigs of content with amazing one shots, construction kits, and very meticulously cherry picked samples overall for the whole collection. Okay, so let's go. Let's lay a quick pattern. We're going to pull up our mixer, just press X, and here you'll notice this little plus symbol on the channel that we're on. If I start pressing this, I'm going to press it 16 times because there's 16 outputs, and then press play on this pattern. You'll see every pad is going to its own out. So now if I want to add a reverb to the snare, you can just go over to channel 3 here. Output three, sorry. Go down to my little reverb section, choose one, and got a little effect going on just for that pad. Some DAWs will not spit this out for you so easily. Actually, you can do one step further here. We could just select everything and create track. And now it'll be up here for you as well. And everything is easy to maneuver around. But if your DAW doesn't set this up, I really encourage you guys in the YouTube comments here to help each other. Please set this up in your respective DAW. I don't have all of them here. And Logic, it's pretty easy. Cubase, at least the older versions, it's pretty easy because it kind of auto pops it up for you. But some of the newer DAWs, I know you have to set up the outputs manually. So again, please help each other. And let's keep going here. You'll notice each pad on the front of it has a volume, pan, attack, and release right on board. So if you quickly want to further master the kits because something's too loud, too quiet, or you want to pan stuff left and right, then that's very easy to do right on board. Or you can do it, again, through the actual outputs per channel. We utilize all 128 triggers. All the keys before the pads and all the keys after the pads do get used. You do have a quick LFO that you can change the pitch of or the pan of, which is nice, just pan stuff left to right. Um, you have, we have a couple kits that are just one tone. Let's actually go look at that for a second. I'll go find the legato stuff I was telling you about. Here we go. So it's just one tone and it's on legato already. I'm just going to turn the glide up a little bit and you'll quickly notice. You can change the glide to be long or non-existent and just keep chopping. All right, so there's that. A lot of the kits are set up in different formats. So let's go into that next really quickly. What I'll do is pull up a full set first. And this basically means we've set up 12 outputs. And on each of these outputs, it's a different set of sounds. So here is a bunch of kicks. Let's turn this up a little bit. Here, a bunch of snares bunch of hi-hats, claps, etc. So each output, you can very easily and quickly get creative with a different kick and snare combo, different effects for each of the outputs, making this very versatile and easy to work with. Then we go into a similar setup where instead of different sounds for every single key, 
we have one sound spanned. And sometimes we'll use two octaves instead of just one and send them both through the same output just to maximize a little more of that sound. All right, so then the rest of them you can see are very easy to use so that you can quickly, um, I guess, find the pitch of your of your beat really easily with the drums and or roll stuff so you can get creative with how you set up your patterns. Next, I'll show a quick version of our four output, a quick little music box sampler here. And what we've done is output one, output two, three, and four. And sometimes you'll have basses in here, or sometimes you'll have sounds that complement each other, a kick, a snare, a bass, a hi-hat, etc. So again, really easy and creative ways to work with this stuff. And here, instead of having 16, it's four outputs. And again, you can assign each output to its own set of treatments and effects, making this, again, really versatile and easy to work with. Next thing I'll quickly show are our construction kits. You'll see in the demos how overlapping these and creative different combinations get you wicked results. And we have so many of these now that you can start combining ones with similar or the same tempos and mix and match them for cool remixes. Another cool thing about this is all the drums that are one shots have been set up the same. So it's always kick, kick, snare, snare, hi-hats and claps. And then from nine to 16, it changes. But for the most part, if you lay a pattern down among these first eight, and then change it to any of the other one-shot type of samples. We'll go to some of the dubstep stuff here. It's a hit or miss whether or not it's gonna sound great, but the patterns themselves work universally with the drums. Before I forget, one last comment. On the website, on all the expansion pack pages, there's actually a free teaser download that you'll notice. You can go grab one of the kits for free, install it, and Try it out before you get the rest of the kit. So I think there's six, seven expansions. You can go ahead and download a freebie from each one of those to expand this library for yourself right away when you download the freebie install. Before we go and actually look and listen to some of the demos, I'm gonna manually go through some of them here because I really like them. I think you guys will find that these are really cool to work with and you can accomplish a lot with these premium kits. This is from our war expansion called Shots Fired about 200 sounds of amazing guns, explosions, sirens, artillery, environments, you name it. So I think you guys will have a lot of fun with that one. Uh, the tribal stuff is wicked too. I think you guys will enjoy. In fact, let me go to the tribal stuff for a second and show you some of the voxes that we created for it. I think these are wonderful. Let me go to the next one here. We did both a traditional set Boy. Yeah. Oh. Boy. Yeah. and then we also got into the tribal tech type stuff where a little auto tune is happening and just little blips. Okay, so there's that. Urban Chants, these are wicked too. We've taken a lot of our signature series stuff converted it into this and added new stuff so you can really quickly add great flavor and textures with the voxes to your beats. All right, and there's a lot of different variations too. So these are chopped. They would just move into normal good ragat type one shot type stuff. Give me some bass. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a and then we have kind of stuff in the middle where it's chopped and screwed but not too too much okay there's that now even though we're focusing all this on drums we've still managed to put a lot of sounds above and below the pads that'll complement the kit that you're on so I'm going to lay a quick little something with, I think it's a flute up here, and then we got bass down here. And then other times you'll find like it's a snare here that so you can roll the snares, 
or other drums that you can roll as well. So first, let's lay a little bit of the flute and the bass. All right, now we'll just lay a quick little bass from down here. And then lastly, we'll just add a quick little stair roll here. As you can see, a lot can be done with just one instance of a kit. And even if you don't use these sounds above and below the pads, it's good to have them there just to sketch stuff in with and then replace it with your actual synths or bass modules or other stuff that you're going to complement the drums with. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoy our new project, available at dubturbo.com or even drumtroop.com. Free install with 20 kits as a way to say thanks to the industry and Dub Turbo 4 is coming, which this will be compatible with. Let's now go and finish this video off by looking at a few of the demo beats we've made with this. You guys have yourselves a great day. Enjoy making music. Good luck in the battlefield.